Greetings and salutations fellow book readers. This is Mark and the book I will review today is Diary of a Mad Old Man. Before we continue, this is personalized limited edition of Diary of a Mad Old Man with leather cover design and made by me. At the end of the video, I will tell you a couple of ways of how you can get one for yourself if you are interested. Now let's get back to the review. Diary of a Mad Old Man is a last novel written by Japanese writer Junichiro Tanizaki and published in 1961. Tanizaki is considered by many the greatest modern Japanese writer and he's one of my personal favorites. His writings deal with obsessive sexuality and to the smaller extent with Japanese cultural modernization. He touched on many subjects considered taboo, not only in Japan, but worldwide, and bringing them into broad view made him a popular writer. Many of Tanizaki's novels and short stories have been adapted into films, such as the 1960s Japanese version of Diary of a Mad Old Man, which I saw and enjoyed very much. What is Diary of a Mad Old Man about? Well, basically, it is about old man dealing with his youthful urges. It is about chronological lack of synchrony between body and mind and being old and feeble and not being able to satisfy one's psychological needs physically. It is also about will to live even when tormented with pain and suffering. I suspect the novel might be somewhat autobiographical, maybe not the plot, but the sentiments and the emotional struggles. Tanizaki wrote it at the end of his life when he was tortured by the pains of his declining health and perhaps he transferred some of it onto the protagonist of the diary of a mad old man. Now a bit of the plot. First, uh, let's introduce main characters. There are two. Tokusuke Utsugi, the writer of the diary, He's a 77 years old head of an upper middle class household in Tokyo and Satsuko who is Tokusuke's daughter-in-law. There are a few more characters but they seem to be there just to fill the space. Even Tokusuke's wife is never mentioned by name. Most of the book is made up of journal entries made by Tokusuke himself but the last part consists of the reports made by Tokusuke's nurse, daughter and doctor. Basically the plot is Tokusuke's increasing sexual obsession with Satsuko while ignoring the needs of the rest of his family. Satsuko, who is an ex-exotic dancer, plays along in exchange for gifts and some excitement in her boring life where she is neglected by her unfaithful husband. Tokusuke is impotent, so his advances are rather innocent and childish, and Satsuko finds them amusing. She entices Tokusuke by doing such things as leaving the bathroom door open when showering or exposing her body parts when dressing, and as a reward for being a willing participant, she receives gifts, which include a car, jewelry or a promise to build a swimming pool. Satsuko accompanies Tokusuke on his trip to Kyoto, where he makes preparations for his funeral, including making the prints of Satsuko's feet, which he wants to be engraved on his gravestone. Back in Tokyo, Takusuke suffers a stroke and is unable to write, so the narration of the story shifts to the third persons. Tokusuke continues with rehabilitation, and in the spring work begins on the swimming pool where he is hoping to see Satsuko in her swimsuit. And that's the basic plot. What do I think about Diary of a Mad Old Man? It is an interesting story, especially if you are curious about old age and sexual instincts. Tanizaki focuses on the psychology of sexual desire and how it can be satisfied when your physical options are limited, and also the strength of sexual energy independent of the physical body. The old man is impotent, but his sexual fantasies and appreciation of the smallest pleasures granted by his daughter-in-law is what keeps him alive. The book's broader theme is weakness of will when faced with desire. 
the old man always had a weakness for sexual perversion. He talks about being attracted to men dressed as women in kabuki theater and recalls having a homosexual experience with one of the actors when he was younger. He also seems to have a masochistic tendency, as we can see in this excerpt from the book. It's odd, but even when I'm in pain, I have a sexual urge, perhaps especially when I'm in pain. Or should I say that I am more attracted, more fascinated by women who cause me pain? And that would explain his attraction to Satsuko, who prides herself on being somewhat of a bad girl. Besides being bad and having a sadistic streak, she is also intelligent and knows how to transform her ill-behaved personality into a useful tool for the right victim. And Tokusuke admittedly fits the profile. Even with a woman of a bad character, thought her badness mustn't be obvious, the worse she is, the cleverer she has to be. That is indispensable. Of course there are limits. Kleptomania or homicidal tendencies would be hard to put up with, yet I can't rule them out entirely. I might be all the more attracted to a woman, knowing that she was a sneak thief. In fact, I doubt if I could resist getting involved with her. The story is a universal tale of an older man and a younger woman and the struggle for control, somewhat similar to the prostitute and her client. On the physical level, the woman rents her young body in exchange for what she perceives more valuable, material gifts, and the man receives a bit of physical stimulation in exchange for something that at his age he doesn't care that much for, money. On the psychological level, it is a power play where the youth Satsuko gets a chance to control the experience Tokusuke. For example, she lets the old man know that she doesn't lock the door when showering and then enjoys watching him crawl on the floor to have a peek at her naked body. Actually, it is this cruelty that seems to keep him alive because it carries a sentiment of hope. Hope for something more to be expected from life even though deep inside, he knows it is false. Throughout the novel, there is the underlying scent of death, its closeness and lingering, waiting for an opportunity, but it doesn't feel scary or tragic, maybe because it is inevitable and at Toksuke's age expected. Lately, I never spend a day without thinking of my own death. Two or three times a day, I think to myself, maybe I'll die today. Not that I am necessarily frightened by those thoughts. When I was young, they did terrify me, but now they even give me certain pleasure. Further, the story is also about completion of the circle of life. We start feeble and dependent on the others, and that's how we end. The older we get, the more spoiled and childish we become. We lose our teeth and ability to move, and in the end, all we can do is suck on a breast, or a food as in the case of the old man. Dairy of a mad old man has this typical Japanese feeling about it and it is a great example of modern Japanese literature. Tanizaki was a master of storytelling. The book is written in dual style, so common in the Far Eastern art. On one hand, it is practical with report-like dated writing of the events and medical treatments, and on the other, it is beautiful and sensual with the detailed descriptions of the places and traditions. The duality of the book's style might also serve as a symbol for the collision between the Japanese and the Western cultures, which played an important role in Tanizaki's writings. It is Chinese yin and yang adapted to the modernizing Japan. The old man represents tradition, he wears traditional clothing, is interested in traditional Japanese arts and he prefers to be buried in the ancient Japanese capital of Kyoto as opposed to the modern Tokyo. Satsuko, on the other hand, stands for modern and somewhat westernized Japan. She dresses in the foreign new fashion, likes modern material gifts and is rather uninhibited with her mouth and body. 
During Tanizaki's life, this duality was a struggle and collision, but it would seem that the Japanese have learned to balance the two sides. Kind of like Tokusuke trying to balance his sexual fantasies by getting just enough to stay alive and have something to look forward to, but not going far enough to have the excitement kill him. To sum it up, Diary of a Mad Old Man is a well-written novel about dealing with the limitations of old age. And what happens when the mind doesn't keep up with the aging of the body and also the power of sex drive over rational behavior. The book makes us wonder how will we react to the challenges of being old. It also makes you think about what you have and are able to do and to appreciate it before it is gone. Diary of a Mad Old Man relates to other books I read that deal with old age and sexuality. The two that come to mind are Kawabata's House of the Sleeping Beauties and Gabriel Garcia Marquez's Memories of My Melancholy Horse. The two are more similar to each other, but all three carry the hidden desperation and loneliness of coming demise. There are a couple of cinema adaptations of the book I have seen. One is a Japanese film from the 60s which follows the book closely and I enjoyed it very much. The other is a Dutch film from the 80s which is rather loosely based on the book and it didn't do it for me. Okay, let's talk about the physical book. The book I am holding is a paperback which I transform into hardcover leather bound edition to make the cover, I use grade A, naturally tan hide I buy from a tannery in North Spain. It is the same leather Louis Vuitton uses to make his bags, so it is top quality. I do all the processing of the leather myself. First, I design the cover, and for this one, I use the woodblock print by the 18th century Japanese artist Toshusai Sharaku which portrays a kabuki actor in one of his plays. I like this print because the eyes and the whole face in the image have insanity, obsession and lust all over it. So I thought it nicely connected with the title character. I added the title, author's name and also the title in Japanese. Uh, this is the bag with the blurb. And inside front cover, I printed a quote from the book. If you want to see a more detailed video where I explain how I transform paperback into leather hardcover, click on the link in the description. I will make a maximum of 100 editions of each title. Each one will be numbered and initialed, and the numbers will go in chronological order from two up, since number one stays with me. The price will be around $100, so if you would like me to make one for you, you can click below on my email and send me a message. I do not guarantee I will do it, since it will depend on the time I have available, access to the letter, and if I can get my hands on the copy of the book. Now, if you're not willing to spend the $100, but you still want the book, what you can do is click below on the PayPal link and donate $3 or more to my channel, and for every 100 donations, I will make a lottery and draw one name. And the winner will receive the book. So, if you are cheap but feel lucky, this might be the way to do it. Also, your donations give me the extra motivation to make the book reviews. And I appreciate them very much, so thank you in advance. Uh, one more thing, when you make your donation, remember to include the title of the book you would like to win. The book itself is beautiful. Visually, it has a very nice texture, it smells great, and the more you handle it, the more beautiful it will become. And it makes a great gift for yourself or somebody who appreciates books. So, if you want one, don't snooze or you might lose. Well, that's it, so let's end it here, and until next time, keep your ear close to the ground and read a book. Adios.